everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today is World Card Making Day. So happy card making day. I hope you get some time today to craft or at least over the weekend maybe. And if not, this video is going to be here forever so you'll be able to enjoy it at a later date. So I thought I'd make a fun fold card. I'm going to make a, I don't know, it's kind of like a pillar pocket card, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> Something like that, I think. I'm going to be using the gorgeous autumn whisper collection i've used this a few times now this is in collaboration with mental health uk and i thought with it being world card making day and card making is a real mindful thing to do we do it to relax it, it just we kind of zone out we're in our own little world so i thought it'd be a really nice collection to use today as well so i'm going to be focusing i think it's just the paper pad i'm actually using but there is loads in this collection i've used a bit of everything on um, other cards i am going to use the washi to decorate the envelope at the end and i've used my 3d delight perfect paper pack this one here because it matches really nicely so if you want there's just lots of florals in this one you've got the toadstools but there's no kind of like pattern and stripes and, and polka dots always go really nice with florals so this one actually works quite nicely with this collection so i've already gone ahead and cut everything um, so I'll go through, there's not too much to do, the only, there's only a little bit of scoring and that's to make the little pillars for the back. So you're going to want to cut yourself two pieces of six and a quarter by three. Along the six and a quarter side you want to score at every one and a quarter. So one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters and five. Do that twice. You'll then want a piece of five by seven. So that's the size of my card and this will go into a five by seven envelope. I've then got this piece here, which is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I've decided to use this gorgeous pattern paper from the pack. And this is four and a half by six and a half. Then for your little card inside, so this is what sits in the pocket. This is a piece of 11 by three and a half. Along the 11 inch, you want to score at five and a half. So just right down through the middle and fold and burnish that. And then to decorate this, I've got this piece here, which is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then that's where I'm going to use this gingham print here to go on top. So this is three by five. And then to make the little pocket, you're going to want to cut yourself a piece of five by five and you're going to pop it in your trimmer and cut it on the diagonal so you get your triangle. You then want to cut yourself a piece of four and a half squared and again on the diagonal cut it in half and that will sit over the top and then you'll want to cut yourself a piece of four inch squared. Actually I went just over it was like four and one eighth and then again on the diagonal cut that in half and that will sit nicely on top and you get your equal mats and layers there. And then I've just got this for my topper, have a perfect day, which again, I thought was really appropriate for today. So that's everything that you need. So you want to fold and burnish these ones here. So these are the pillars. Now you can do them the whole height of the card if you want. So you could cut this so that it is, what was the measurement of this? Six and a quarter by seven. But I think this is enough just to support the back of the card. Now on one of the sides, you just want to take a little slither off. And then on that same section, you're going to just cover that in glue okay and then fold it over so you've got one and then one with glue facing you and then fold that one over by taking that little bit off just means we're getting a more true square tube like so so do that twice and you're going to stick these behind this piece here so i'm adding my glue along the join side because that's nice and strong. And then I'm going to pop this right down into the corner, like so. And then again, down in the other corner. Give that a minute to dry. And what I would suggest you do is just hold it up and make sure it stands up. So make sure they're flush with the bottom. So whilst they're drying, I'm going to stick this one and then this one. You might want to stick these down first and do all the decoration and then add the pillars. You know, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Okay, so that's everything stuck down. Now, I, the measurements for these I done specifically so that when it folds flat, they will join in the middle. So that will all fit in your envelope. And then you just lift those up 
and then you can display the card. I mean, you could fan them out a little bit like that. That looks quite nice, actually. Maybe I'll change it a little bit. Okay, next you want to stick down the layers on your little corner piece here. And then whilst that one's drying, I'm going to stick down the mats and layers on this one. Just make sure you've got it as a top fold. So with this one here, you want to flip it over and you just want to add some tape or some liquid glue just along the right angle side. I'm going to use tape because with the glue, it might just spread out a little bit more than you maybe want. And I want that to be able to sit in nicely. So I'm just going to use my tape. And then I'm just going to sit this one down right in the corner of the five by seven piece. And your gold layer should line up like so and now this one will sit in nicely in the pocket and now this is going to stick just on the corner here so that this will stay in place when you remove the little kind of note card there bring it down a little bit make sure it's in the middle just bring it across a bit there there so i'm just making sure i've got an equal amount either side there so this is going to sit about there so i'm just going to add a little glue just enough to hold that in place. And again, just lining up the border there on the left and the right. And there's the finished card. My pocket pillar card or pillar pocket card, something like that. But I like having them kind of fanned out a little bit as well. I think that looks quite nice. So I think it's a really nice one for like a gift card as well. You could, you know, have a nice little gift card in here. In fact, I'll cut a piece of um, white card to go in there as well, just the same size as this here. But we'll make the, um, we'll decorate the envelope. So this one here and the washi. I said in the last video using this collection, I'm really getting into using like washi strips and stickers because I'm using them more on the envelopes now. So I'm going to, I mean, that's the one that matches. So you've got another one there. Yeah, let's use this one. So they are already cut just very carefully work your way around because you don't want to tear it till you've got half of it off there we go i'm gonna have it down in that corner and then slowly kind of roll it all down like so looks like it was stamped or printed onto the paper so thank you for joining me today and again happy world card making day i'm sure there's going to be lots of inspiration across youtube and all the different social channels as well so hopefully you get lots of inspiration and i hope you've enjoyed this card that i've shared with you today you can find all of the products by clicking on the link here or they'll also be linked in the description box below if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed today's tutorial just click on my face here and you'll be able to subscribe so you won't miss out on any future tutorials and check out this tutorial next because it also uses this collection on another fun fold. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.